Hey guys, Water Quack here. So today we're going to be going over Anima Island. Uh, it's a pretty simple mini game. Anyone can do it pretty much. Uh, it's located on the back of Fusco's remains. It's right here on the map. Uh, the fastest way to get here is by teleporting to the bandit camp lodestone and running to that shortcut or you can take a boat just south of Lumbridge. I'll go over that in a minute when we get there. It's pretty pretty basic. You don't need much. Maybe a combat item, some combat stuff. Uh, you can't really bring anything except combat stuff in there so uh, I'll grab my duck here and I'll show you. There we go, look at these ducks. Anyways, uh, my, my ducks. My ducks aren't allowed. So, try to enter here. They right on the screen. Not bring players, yada yada yada, yada yada yada. So, yeah, just combat stuff. Uh, and you don't even really need combat stuff, but it helps. Ish. Uh, as I was saying about the rewards, so you here quickly, you can get, uh, you can get some stuff from some of this Tusca armor, it's tier 75 hybrid armor, so it's actually pretty decent, especially for a low level player or an Iron Man, it's not too, too much grinding, although there's other things. And then you can get these three, well these four abilities, but these three, first three you can also get by fighting mobs in God Wars Dungeon 1, so I wouldn't recommend grinding it running here to get this but this Tuska's Wrath can only be unlocked through this minigame and it is a great ability I have it right on my ability bar here and you use it when you use it, it deals 10,000% of your slayer level as damage and it can crit so I've hit 15 K's with, uh, with Tuska's Wrath the, the ability here and my slayer level is only 93 so it's a, a really good ability have, have and most people just grind just do the Anima Island until they get the, the Tuska's Wrath ability and then they don't really get anything. There's some other cool things you can get from here too. Um, I'll go over the animations up at the end, but uh, you can get three animations and there's a uh, Tusco Home Teleport animation. Not a lodestone, plus a lodestone. I actually have it, so I can show you here in a sec. I'll show you right now. So this is it. It's, uh, it's actually one of my better ones. I don't have very many. Okay, so to get here, you just teleport to Lumbridge. And once everything loads, you just uh, run south from the lodestone. There is a guy on a bridge over here. You can talk to, not that guy. The wizard chambers. You can replay the cutscene if you haven't seen the Tusky cutscene. And you can also just right click him, teleport straight to Tusca. And you're right here at the minigame. So from here you'll want to enter the magical barrier. Uh, and once you're on here, you'll uh, the minigame will begin shortly. If you have a group of people, you have to talk to the wizard to start the event. But if you're just by yourself, just hop in through the uh, walk right in and start. And what it does is it sends you off to an island. There's four different islands, and uh, this is the first island. It can be random which one you get, and uh, each island has a different objective. So the objective for this one is to collect herbs, which you collect by uh, killing these tentacles, or by chopping the larger tentacles. So right now I'm just going to be killing these tentacles until one of the larger ones appear, and I can, and you see in my inventory, I got one of the herbs. Normally, more of the larger tentacles appear by now, but 
seems like it's gonna be all right there we go so you just they, these are the vines you chop and it's a lot faster to chop the vine than to kill the tentacles so you just chop the vine and each vine you chop each piece you chop gives you one of these herbs I find the best way to do this one is collect as many herbs as you can before uh, the time runs out and then use all the herbs at once. So once you have a bunch of herbs, you're gonna wanna crush them by clicking on them like that. And then you use the crushed herbs on the root. So you, or you just click on the root and it nurtures the root. And each time you nurture the root, it grows the root out a little more. So this tentacle doesn't want to spawn while I'm trying to grow a root, that would be nice. All right, so you just nurture these roots and you want to grow the root out to the little plant, the little green plant. Wow, another one spawned right in front of where <laughs> I'm trying to... Wow, okay. That's why I don't make guys. Okay, so we're finally at the uh, the green blob, and once you reach it, it'll grow, in the middle will grow, and you can collect the seed. And you just run up and collect to return the seed, and it'll give you a little bit of percentage. See at the top? There's the, uh, at the top you have the moving dot, and it's making its way across the bar there. Once it reaches the 25% mark, you'll hop to another island. Uh, so you want to get your bar, which is bar underneath 25% before that dot gets to the next place before you have to hop island uh, they they changed it a little bit so you can uh, if you don't get the full 25% at one island you can ca play catch up on the next island and get I don't know 27 28% uh, that way you can still get a hundred percent this is pretty much all you do on this island you just uh, Bring the seeds back, and the, bringing the seeds back gives you the most anima for the, um, for this island. Okay, I'm at 10%, and bringing a seed back, bringing a seed back gets me to 60. All right, so as you can see, I got a uh, little notice. I've saved all the anima again for this island. I'm at 25%. So you can continue to do stuff. Still getting XP, but can't get any more anima. Okay, we've just shot up to the next island. Number two out of four. All right, this one's pretty simple. There's two ways to get anima on this island. Uh, the first way, you just run over here, grab some one of these holy fires. You can last for 30 seconds. You equip the log in your inventory, run back over to these tentacles, and you just click on them, and it'll start burning them. Super simple. You do 500 damage to the middle one, uh, and you do 250 to any tentacle around it. it. You have 30 seconds, so once the bar runs out on your head, you need to run back and re get more fire. So for the second way to get anima from this island, you'll want a weapon. You just hop down this rock base, interact with this altar, you'll get this relic of life, whatever. Dig. In the grave which you'll then hop into the underworld and texture kind of changes from here you want to climb back up here and what you want to do first is you want to claim the lost soul the one that looks a little bit different and that'll change your relic of life to a charged one and then you want to go to another one of these Tormented souls, I usually go to one that's closest to the edge over here, and you just click to release them. And then you want to, this is where your weapon comes in, you'll want to kill it. Once you finish killing this, you'll turn into it, and you'll want to release it through this passage, right of passenger. Yeah, you turn into one of these tormented souls. So you just walk over here, and you walk really slowly, so that's why I like to uh, do it near the edge. And then the last little bit of this. You take your charged relic back down to the altar down here and you just interact with the altar and it'll uncharge your relic and each little bit of this gives you a little bit of anima for this island you just keep 
going around in a circle and doing that over and over. Okay, cool. So, third island. Here we go. And this one is probably the simplest of the four. And it has some of the best XP, I think, agility, divination, and dungeoneering. Pretty much you just run around, climb the cliff, go around in a circle on all these mini islands. Uh, really, really simple. And the point of it is to just get to the... Uh, this, the one island with the active runestone, and you just charge it. Gives you divination XP. And this is also where you get all your anima by charging the sack. And then once you finish charging it, it'll deplete, and another one will appear on one of the other four islands. Usually the one right behind. So you just run around again and then go to it. Alright, here we go. Off to the last island. Uh, this one is the fastest Electro Anima, but it has the most thing. I I find the fastest way and the best way is to click on these little squares to build a shattered pylon. You get construction XP, and it's probably my favorite eye. Uh, the XP is pretty good too. Then you just run to the next one and build another shattered pylon. What these pylons do is they attract giant lightning balls or whatever um you'll see in a sec here so there we go a uh, giant lightning sentinel lightning so you can lure this and you can lure it into the middle and this will give you hunter x by uh just bringing it to the unstable core so the construction or you can do the hunter most people i find do the construction but in order to do the hunter you just run around and kill these little hunters like and you absorb some residual energy then you run into the middle and charge the core and there's also these targets which you just uh click on it it's kind of like setting up a hunter trap it'll attract a little lightning and then again run over and kill and then once you have four charge, you'll want to lure one of the big ones. Anyways, the best way though, I think, is just to build the construction pylons and just run around doing that. The construction XP here is actually pretty good for a And just so you know, if you're ever uh, wondering what to do on any of the islands, you can click the little question mark up here. It'll drop down a menu. It'll tell you exactly what to do on the island and how to gather your anima. So. Okay, we're finished here now. Uh, this guy's way too happy that we got an anima. We're at 64.95. You get 1,000 anima for doing a perfect game which works out to be 10 anima per percent that you finish once you're ready you can just pop right back in and enter the barrier it'll start another one for you all right guys thanks for watching and the ducks appreciate it don't forget to subscribe